Hey, Bass Geek here, and today we're going to talk about real speed and unbox some goodies that Luz just sent me. So before we jump right in and we start talking and unboxing the awesome gear that Lou sent to me this year, I want to talk to you about some of my gear, some of my hoodies and stuff. Guys, right below the video, any video you go to now, you can buy stickers. You can actually click on that, and if you're on the app or on the website, on the uh, YouTube page, the Bass Geek YouTube page, you'll also see a store at the top now i've got something really cool coming i don't have them featured under there but if you click on one of the products and go to the store itself you'll actually see i've got some t-shirts with bass geek down the arms and on the shirt and a hoodie that's done the same way and guys for you guys that are like me and there's a little more to love because <laughs> a whole lot more of me to love i mean you know anyway so there are sizes that range i think all the way up to four five maybe even six xl so make sure you go check them out for all you guys that want stickers uh they're out there go support the youtube channel and purchase a sticker please go out there and uh make sure you uh throw that on your boat on your kayak on your truck your car uh whatever you want to put it on but they're out there there's two or three different kinds so again make sure you go out there this is all through teespring so if you go to teespring you search up bass geek you'll be able to find them if you don't even do that like i said men's and women's apparel right below the videos go pick you up some support the channel for me i would greatly appreciate it and hey when you get them Take, you, take some pictures and uh, send them in to me. We're going to get back into doing the Six Minute Sunday stuff this year. And uh, we'll feature you if you've got some Bass Geek apparel too, not just if you've learned something from this channel. Uh, always love to see you guys holding up your, ba your best bass or any bass in a Bass Geek hoodie or shirt. So we'll go ahead and give you a shout out if you do that for me. All right, guys. Now... Let's get in to what I got from Lou's this year. So let's jump right in to the spinning reels. I really had to pick up some spinning reels and I'm trying out a couple and we're gonna do reviews on each one of these reels this coming up year. I'm gonna tell you right now, one of them that I picked up is another Lou's Mock Crush. Now guys, the Mock Crush really is my favorite favorite spinning reel from Lou's that I've used up until now. Uh, you guys see it. I've got it on my uh, Domeki or drop rig. I've got it on my drop shot rig. I just love this reel. The drag is super smooth. The reel is not just really big. It works extremely well. Uh, it's just a great reel. Now this reel retails for $99. Sometimes you can find it on sale. And as always, guys, there will be links in the description to every single thing in here. But all that being said, man, this is an impressive reel. I've now had it for over a year, and it's definitely time to do a review on the Mock Crush. Love it. It is one of the smoothest spinning reels I've ever had. Now, every single one of these, and this is one thing about Lou's and their spinning reels, they all come in that six, two to one. Now we get into talking about reel speed. For me, and I'm gonna tell you, I played bass and drums in a band, you know, for years and years. And one of the things that I learned is that everybody kind of has their own natural rhythm. And that really does translate in how you reel a bait, especially those moving baits back. In other words, I have a natural tendency to reel things super fast. 
you know, I love to crank. I know you guys haven't seen a lot of that. I kind of got away from that when I got into the swim baits, but I used to love to crank on, you know, some of the lakes like Cherokee and Douglas and that sort of stuff. And so one of the things with me is, you know, I'm, I'm a power cranker. I'm going to crank that bait as quickly as I can possibly crank it. Now, that's great a lot of times with crankbait, but it doesn't translate a lot of times when you're working a top water, you turn the reel a little too fast and you move that, or a jerk bait and you turn the reel a little too fast and you move that bait, or a spinner bait, or a um, you know a, a swim bait, especially you know I really had to learn how to slow myself down, and a lot of that has to do with those slower uh, gear ratios. Now most of your lower end. Uh, we'll say below 500. There's there's some companies now. Everybody is is starting to defaultly go to those 6.2 uh, to one, 6.1 to one, 6.0 to one uh, real speeds in the spinning gear. But lose it's it's natural. They're all going to come in that six speed. And with the drop rig or the Demiki rig, one of the biggest things when you're fishing down, you know, in you know. 30, 40, 50, 80 foot of water. One of the things that those smallmouth love to do is come up and grab that bait. And when you lean into them, they love to shoot straight toward the surface. So having that faster reel and being able to keep up with those fish is a huge thing. So <clears throat> it's not so much about moving the bait at that point. And a lot of times with the spinning reels, it's really not. There are a few crankbaits that I will throw on a spinning bait or spinning reel but for the most part when I'm throwing a spinning reel I'm dragging or vertical fishing uh, maybe some very very small light you know swim jigs or you know something like even a, a, a fluke but again it's it's more in that jerkbait realm so anyway so i like a little faster and a jerkbait you know a, a hard jerkbait a smaller hard jerkbait guys i threw a, a jerkbait on spinning reels just because you can get so much more distance and get that bait down deeper and you guys know by watching my channel we fish very vertical you know steep deep the fish are generally deep all the time deeper than where they are in a lot of different instances but anyway, so on all these spinning reels, I go six, two to one, because on most of them, I'm moving it with my rod tip, not with the reel. So I want a little bit faster reel so that I can keep up with those fish once I set the hook into them. But anyway, check out the Lose Mock Crush. That is one of my favorites. Now another reel, and this is brand new, and this is even a higher quality. It is a six, two to one. This is even a higher end reel. I cannot wait to put this on a rod and really get out there and try it. This is going to be my springtime bedding smallmouth reel. Because with those bedding smallmouth, man, you have got to have a good drag. You're using light line, small baits, little hooks. And when you set the hook on a big smallmouth, a four, five, six pounder, trust me, you need good drag it is imperative to land in that fish because they are going to be more they're going to be more pissed off than they will ever be all year when they're on the bed and you set into them so i really can't wait to try this out i've got a lot of different uses i may try with it but we will definitely be doing a review and this is the team lose custom pro and it goes for i believe 129 dollars and this has just come out this year. This is their high-end entry into the spin and reel uh, game, which, you know, Lose makes great bang for the bucks. You know, the uh, the $39 reels, I got a buddy, my buddy Joey, and he loves those uh, 39, basically $40 uh, Lose spin and reels. It's, he, he swears by them, especially at that price and uh he's one heck of a stick so if anybody's going to swear by it and believe in it that man right there i, I trust him 100 percent. now i did pick up two of these these are new and they're kind of that medium grade they go for 59 dollars, and this is the lose speed spin 
This is the uh, SS 300 HS. Again, a six two to one. I picked up two of these. They're brand new by Lou's and I cannot wait. We will do reviews and I'll tell you exactly what I think about them. No holds barred. You guys know me. I will tell you the good, the bad, and hopefully the beautiful or the ugly about them. But I can't wait. Those are two. So we've got two reels brand new out from Lou's this year that we're going to try out. I cannot wait to see if they stack up. Now, let's go ahead and let's jump over to what I picked up on the casting side of the reels. You know I had to pick up one of these. Guys, to me, this is the best all-around, do-it-all, maybe not do it the best, but if you want a good workhorse, you can throw jerk baits to, you know, big swim baits, maybe not giant swim baits. You can flip with it. You can pitch with it. I've thrown spoons on these things. Guys, this is a workhorse. I mean, I have done everything from top water to jigs, flipping mats. I mean, throwing larger swim baits. When I say larger swim baits, I mean up to, you know, Alabama rigs. I've used this reel. And that is the Lose LFS. Guys, this is the best all around, do it all, $100 reel, I think, out there. And a lot of times, you can find this reel on sale for sub $90 prices. It is an incredible workhorse of a reel. Now, does it do the best at any one thing? No, but this is a jack of all trades. It can wear a lot of different hats. And that's why this is one of my, really, one of my really go-to reels. A, because of the cost, B, because it, it 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 can pull off anything. This is actually going to be a top water reel this year, and one of my favorite speeds is lose six eight to one. I find that that allows me to take up line quickly on those baits where you're walking them, or those baits where you are jerking like a jerk bait. So baits that you're presenting horizontally, but you know. It's a stop and go. You're inducing action with the rod, not necessarily the reel. So that six eight to one keeps me from taking up too much line and causing me to move that bait with the reel handle. But it's just right for when I'm walking the dog or I'm jerking that bait, you know, to and then stopping and taking up that excess line. It's a perfect speed for that sort of thing. So we're gonna to toss this on one of our top water rods this year, and we're gonna give that a try and see how it works out. So speaking of jerk baits, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the reel that I have on my jerk bait rod right now. We'll take that off. We're gonna repurpose it to something else. It's done great, and it's it was actually an LFS. But I want to get a little better distance out of it. And a lot of times when you need a little better distance, sometimes that can mean the rod, but a lot of times it's also going to mean you need a little higher end, a little freer spool, and that means you need a little higher end reel. Now this is the Lose, and this is the Custom Pro Speed Spool SLP. This is a $259 reel. So... I use, I throw a, a jerk bait a lot. It's one of my favorite, it's one of my go-tos, and I like to throw a lot of the Rapalas, the Shad Ramps, and they're very light, even though they're a three hook bait. So one of the things that I wanna do is to see if I can get a little better casting distance on there. I've got a good rod that I'm really, really happy with. It's done a great job. And it's really helped me with the LFS that I've got on there, get some very good casts. But now I wanna see what this is and what it will do. This is also a reel that we're gonna check out and we're gonna do a review on as the season goes. This is the first time I've ever used this reel from Lou's. So I'm gonna tell you what I think about it and what better place to test it than those light baits. And of course, this is my favorite speed for those types of baits. It's a six, eight to one. So let's move down a level. This reel retails for $159. Now this is the Lose 
BB1. I've got a couple, three, maybe even four of the BB1 Pros, and guys, I love them. Uh, probably so far out of the reels. Now, mind you, I haven't tried the really ultra high end stuff that Lou's have had has got out there, but probably my favorite reel that I've used from Lou's thus far. Now, this is the predecessor to the Pro. A lot of your crankbait guys use this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to put this on one of my big crankbait rods. Cannot wait to get this on there to see how much distance I can get out of this. Uh, we'll repurpose one of the other reels to one of the other crankbait rods. But this, I've heard nothing but good. I've never actually used the BB1s. So the BB1 Pros are incredible. I cannot wait to use this. Now, this is a little faster reel. So a lot of times on those big crankbaits, I tend to use a, you know, 5.4, five, 5.5, five, five, somewhere in that mid fives. This is a 6.4. So we're gonna go a little bit faster on those rods. Can't wait to give this a try. Again, I'm gonna have to pay attention on those big rod, those big swim bait or those big crank baits and force myself to slow down just a little bit. But I cannot wait to throw this reel around. So here's a perfect example of how I'm gonna use two different retrieves for two different purposes, but it's the same reel. Now again, just two different speeds on the retrieve. These are new entries into the Lose Reel family. These are the Tournament MP Speed Spool LFS. So these are the LFS. They're just a little boosted, better design, better bearings, smoother casting reels. And again, these are new. So these are the first time I'm getting my hands on them. I can't wait. We'll do reviews on them. I'll tell you what I think about them. And if I think they're worth the price tag over the regular, in my opinion, the standard bear LFS at $99. These pro tournament MPs retail for $149. So they're about 50 bucks over what the LFSs are. So let's talk about what I'm gonna do in the different reel speeds. So we picked up one in a six eight to one, and this is gonna be kind of a backup or a secondary jerk bait reel. Six eight to one, again, perfect speed so that I don't turn the reel handle and move that bait. Perfect speed for that. The second one is seven five to one, and I've actually got a frog rod that I'm gonna put this on. Now, the reason why I wanna put this on a frog rod is because, guys, I found a couple of lakes, and we're gonna be fishing them probably out of my small boat this summer. Fingers crossed that everything goes right. So I bought my frog rod. You guys should have seen that in the Knoxville video. And so what we're hoping for is that we're gonna get out there and we're gonna frog which is something that I've never really gotten to do, some of those thick covered mats for you this summer. So we're gonna bring you, you know, not only the deep stuff, now I'm hoping we're gonna to get to bring you some, uh, some, some frogging, some heavy punching. And that's what this is gonna be for, is for those frogs. Now, let's talk about, let's talk about speed versus power. And uh, my buddy Tackle Junkie, big shout out to him. He did a great video talking about speed versus power. And I call it generally uh, speed versus torque. Now, what you see a lot is guys are starting to go more and more to these eights, nines, when they're flipping those, uh, when they're flipping baits or when they're throwing a frog. But the problem is, is you cannot winch that fish out of that heavy color cover. You have to reel down and pump that rod and you're running a great risk of breaking that rod when you do that so what you really want to do is you want that higher speed so you get you get caught up and you get them turned you get their head coming up out of that mess but you also have the power to crank them out and to me that's where a seven three seven five and that's exactly what this is is a seven five to one is going to do when they come up and they hit it they turn down we're going to set the hook and we're going to winch them up out of that cover that's what we're going to do with our 
That's what we're hoping we're going to do with our uh, frog rod. And guys, I'll tell you, you know, I about look, this is a whole box of frogs right here. Just nothing but frogs. A lot of them on your all's recommendation. All right, let's jump down to the last two. These retail for $199. And these are going to be my big boy go-to heavy-duty reels. One of them I'm going to actually put on this stick right here. A lot of you guys ask me what I use. And this is a brand new Daiwa. This is a Daiwa DXSB 81HFB. It is an eight foot rod and it can handle from two to eight ounces. This is what I throw my big nine inch bull shad, my really big uh, glide baits or my big hoodies on. This is what I'm gonna throw that on, you know, up to my eight inch hoodies. This will go up to eight ounces so what am i going to pair that with i'm going to pair it with this now i'm generally going to run this is the lose super duty wide spool now this is an lfs style but it's built for large presentations what i like about this reel is that it's a low profile reel so it still fits in the hand well. You still get a good cast out of it. Not those big round spools, you know, that a lot of guys like to throw. I, I'm not a big fan of the big round spools, but that's what this is going to be for. And the other is actually going to go on my big Alabama rig rod. So these two are going to go on my big, you know, heavy baits, you know, baits that are going to be weighed in up in the ounces, not just in the you know, fractions of ounces. So they are both six, four to one. Normally if I'm throwing a big Alabama rig, I like something that's in that five range, but this, I can just slow down just a little bit. You know, I've fished enough of my swim baits, my five inches on the six, three, six, four, six, fives that I can cope with it. Uh, for the big swim baits, it's normally the same way. But one of the things that I ran into last year is I actually had a big nine inch bull shad and I had fish that were just chasing that bait up. And I mean, they wanted it so fast that my five one reel just couldn't, couldn't reel it fast enough. They wanted it so fast that I physically could not reel the bait fast enough to get them to react. As soon as I'd slow it down, they'd turn around. So, that's what these bad boys are going to be for. We're going to, uh, you know, put those on the heavy duty baits. And let me tell you guys, it's that time of year right now. If spring ain't come your way yet, it's coming and it's coming fast. I trust me. I know I, if you could see my man cave, it is a disaster area. I have got to get ready. I've got to get out on the water, but right now I'm so disorganized from, you know, doing all the shows. It's just been nuts. So, this week, it's what I'm doing. I'm cleaning things up. I'm organizing things, getting the boat organized. And uh, hopefully, we're going to get out on the water and start actually chasing those greens and browns. All right. As always, guys, tell me what you think about this haul. You know, tell me what you think about these reels and how I use them. Watch some of your favorite uh, reel speeds on some of the techniques that I talked about that I told you I was going to use some of these reels on. Let me know what you think. And always let me know what you think in the comment section below. Guys, don't forget, check out the stickers now. You can buy the stickers. You can buy the Cool Bass Geek Apparel right below the video. And as always, like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you guys ring that bell so you get these. I'm telling you, we're getting ready to get out on the water. And it's about to get cray-cray. About to get cray-cray, boys and girls. All that being said... You know what I always say, you guys rock.